Hey everybody, this is Boat, this is Flack. Hello. We're gonna play some C64. Uh, so, uh, now, tell me what to do. All right, so uh, if you just, oh, you already have the disc inserted? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna do it the old school way? Sure, let's All do right. it the old school way. So you're gonna do load. Oh, no, sorry, I gotta click in the window. Okay. And then, now here's the hard part. Uh, you're gonna do a quote sign, uh, but it's not where the quote is on oh, here. okay. Yeah, it's shift two. Okay. And then shift four for dollar sign. All right. And then shift two, okay. comma eight. And hit enter, and that's going to load your directory up. Oh. Now, fortunately, uh, in WinVice, you can do all this with a single click. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do all these things, but if you want the full experience, now you do list. So okay. it's loaded it in basically almost like a program. Uh, and so this is a uh, good because it's the first thing right there on the disc. Thank you, ass. I appreciate that. <laughs> All those releases say that. I, yes, this is the... Uh, I've already brought the show into the PG. <laughs> right, right, right. We're, we're it, working blue tonight. So. Fun, yeah, blue, blue, light blue and dark blue. <laughs> and blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, if it's the first thing on the disc, you're going to type load. Uh, shift 2. Oh, no space? Uh, no, you don't, okay. you don't have to have it. And then it's asterisk, but that is not where your asterisk is. It is actually, I don't know, let's see if we can find it. There we go. Okay. Shift 2, comma 8, comma 1. The most famous Commodore 64 command right there. So what is the asterisk? Does it just look it's for the first wild program thing. file? Absolutely, okay. yeah. So um, if you had, let's say, Mario Brothers, Zaxxon, whatever, if you did load, Z asterisk comma eight comma one, uh, it would hit Zaxxon. Okay. Uh, so anytime you bought a game, mm -hmm. it would say, you know, put into the drive and type load asterisk comma eight comma one. Or okay. Star or wildcard have people, you know, say right. it. But, um, uh, but that will hit that first file. So if you had a commercial program, they would make sure... Uh, that the first file on there was the loader. The real thing. Right. So you were work. never actually typing in the name of a file most of the time on a commercial game. No, yeah, almost It was never. only on the, the uh, liberated copies. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you might have 10 games, you know. And th there were programs that would make, uh, like, menu or bootloader things, you know, but it was always more trouble than it yeah. was worth, really, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, with um, uh, everybody had their own favorite fast load cartridge you mm -hmm. know like i'd like literally fast load from epics that's the one i use uh so if you have that inserted all you type is dollar sign enter mm. and it does all that and then instead of load all that it's um the percent sign uh so you do like percent sign z asterisk and it would hit that or uh the two bottom keys i think it's commodore and run stop and you hit those together and it automatically loads the first thing so those little shortcuts oh that's cool right Plus, it loaded seven times. I think that was seven hundred percent. Now, are we still? What do we? What do we think about what's going on here? It is loading, believe okay. it or not, because it's emulating now. And and actually, on the real emulator, you can see down here in the corner this red light down here. It's it's showing the disk drive. Now, here's a trick: if you hit Alt W, it will turn on warp, warp mode. Ooh. And see how it loaded just yeah. like that. And then yeah. you want to hit Alt-W to turn it back off. Okay, so the game does not run at that speed. <laughs> right. And then just type run. And here we go. All right. You get the uh, infamous uh, flashing there as yeah. it unpacks. Yeah, uncompressing. Yep. Pushing everything. Whoa! Commodore is the best! Oh, <laughs> that was the tremendously loud. Commodore theme there. Uh, and you can probably just... Usually space bar through these things. Okay. Or... Okay. Oh, need to return control here. Uh, now on these, and I, now what these are, th this is uh, something that they have done. This is not uh, old or retro. This is a new thing that they have okay. done. Is they've added like the documentation uh, or the instructions onto the front of the games. Oh, well, that's uh, handy. Right. So, uh, you can, you go through this, uh, you know, and it'll tell you like what the, the goal of the game is. Now here's the, another trick. Okay. It says, uh, to bypass this, you hit the run stop key. You'll notice you don't have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I actually had for a long time before I had them all memorized, 
a printout of what all keys correspond. Yeah. Uh, but I believe it's caps lock. Okay. <laughs> Which is an odd. That is odd. Place to put. That. I'm glad you know that. We wouldn't have gotten far. We would. Yeah. Uh, 101 <laughs> guesses. <laughs> All right, well, this looks pretty good so far. This is Buggy Boy. Um, I played... Buggy Boy was an arcade game. Uh, started life as an arcade game. Um, and got ported to the Amiga and the C64. Uh, and I believe... I have to reread this. It was years ago, but... Uh, the actual motherboard in the arcade game has two different processors mm -hmm. that run at two different speeds. So it was on the list of this can't be emulated in main oh. for years and years. Now they may, I haven't checked recently, but um, yeah, this, this is uh, again, stuff that they've added in later, you know, new additions. Uh, but uh, yeah, you couldn't you couldn't play it in main. So what I, was the? Uh, did they have one processor that did like the background and one that did the sprites? I, maybe so because it's it's a three D ish type game, you know. So um, so that that very well could be what it is. Okay. Um, um, now, what do you think will start the game? Probably uh, I try spacebar. Or, okay. You know, I'm gonna let you play first. Oh, all right. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Dave Thomas did this. Let's see. Uh, and it could be like maybe F1. You know, in a Commodore, you've got those handy function keys. Uh, uh, uh. Enter. And try all those. F1, 3, 5, 7. Space bar, enter. Caps lock. <laughs> Caps lock, why not? You know? uh, controller. How about your buttons? Are they doing anything? Uh, I don't see anything on the buttons here. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if I've configured. Oh. Um. How do we do this? Uh, well, you have to turn. Okay, so you need to. There's two different settings. The first one is you'll have to have the joystick uh, enabled. Okay. Why do I not see that? Uh, go over to the left one. Here's the behind the scenes footage of the show where I put on reading glasses. So I can <laughs> see that tiny menu way over there. Uh, let's see. Go under options okay. there. And okay, you have okay. Now that's one thing where you have swap joystick. Now let me see. Yeah, see, there's no the joystick. Happening. Yeah, movements would light up down here, okay. so we don't have maybe enable. Should we uncheck enable joy keys? Uh, okay, let's do that. No, we're still not okay. So, yep, let's go down here and um, let me see where it's at. Okay, there you go. There we there it is. Okay, now this is a weird technical thing about the Commodore 64. There's two joystick ports, right? Right. Port one, point two. Port one had shared, uh, the simplest way, shared some uh, of the, the electronics with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get ghosting, you get weird key repeats or whatever. So a lot of early games use port one. Almost all the later games oh. use point, uh, port two. Now, so. Alt-J will swap in between them and win vice. Oh, okay. So you can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, it's still not. Oh, yeah. You're good. Now. Okay, yeah. Okay. So Alt J. All right. Here we go. Now let's see. Yeah. Okay. You've got control. There we go. Uh, so this is a, a, a racing game with a, a minor twist, like a lot of games, mm -hmm. you know, had uh, where um, you know it's this and you add one variable, right? So uh, we'll just pick the first track here. <clears throat> the variable is there are flags uh, that you have to pick up. Okay. The button is used to shift between uh, low and high gear. So here we are in our little buggy, and in the upper right-hand corner, you see those flags that are uh, colors? Mm -hmm. You have to get them in that order. So none of these count until I get a red one. Oh my gosh. That was a rock. Okay. So, so, so you kind of have to look at both places. See, I got a red. Now I have to get that a light uh, cyan, I believe, mm -hmm. is our... Uh, and so there's other flags. It doesn't penalize you for picking them up. It just doesn't give you any points. Exactly. Right. And so there's some extra time. Doing really, I'm gonna blame it because I'm sitting over here. That's so. yeah, the microphones in your way. There are many, trust me, Aaron and I, <laughs> we know all the good excuses. So, sometimes what I do is I try to look up because you're trying to look at two things at once. Mm -hmm. So, I'll look up and say, okay, light blue, purple, uh, you know, and, and try to right remember right. more than one at this a time. This is usually where I go in the drink here, so 
Now, so, is there a time limit here? Yeah, oh, yeah, so there's I see. A, okay. a time limit. There's a few different things going on. The first is a time limit. Uh, the second is, uh, oh, yeah, there's my time limits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you get all five flags in the order, mm -hmm. uh, you get a bonus, and then it randomizes the orders, and you start all over again. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, you can go through those things to get uh, time. And the, when you get all five flags, and it's, it plays this little tune, and as it's doing it, all the flags are flashing. Mm -hmm. So you could get any flag. Like, let's say you hit two flags while it's doing that. It will count those. Oh, wow. For the next time. All right, I'm going to really focus this okay. time. This is, that was just a warm-up. Right, exactly. You're getting explaining. used to it. Plus, you're playing with the D-pad the instead of... Uh, oh, it's actually on the analog oh, stick, okay. so it's a little... Uh, this is a drinking and driving buggy <laughs> boy here as I kind of swear around. So, see how I have, like, red? So, you immediately shift into high when you play. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take very long to get uh, okay. geared up there. Now, you see there's logs. Mm -hmm. um the logs jump. There are rocks. Uh, there's a little extra time. All right, let's find my flags here. Oh my gosh. Uh, and this has this game has two different names, and I don't know if it's uh, like European versus here, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's Speed Buggy and Buggy Boy. Interesting. Uh, yeah, they're the same game. Uh, you can also tell. Uh, that it has a, a European flavor because there's uh, like soccer balls later that you oh. <laughs> you can hit and knock out. So is there? Um, w did the arcade game have two different names, or was it just the ports that had two different names? Um, that's a good question. I was just showing you what happened if you run into that. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. So there you go. Oh my gosh! All right. Well, you're gonna have to take over here. All right. So there's the you know five different courses, obviously, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, I'm going to try north. Yeah, now, they, do they get more difficult as you go? Uh, and th I think they're a little bit more. You can see your checkpoints there. And there's different terrain. Right. Also. That's neat. Yeah. So, um... Oh, and so you hold it forward, right, for gas. And you have your, your uh, log. So, like I said, those little rocks. The little rocks, if you hit them, you'll go on two wheels. Um, there's not really any advantage to doing that. Oh, that's water. Right. So, uh, <laughs> but your buggy does not float. Yeah. Right? I see how slow you're going because you're in high gear. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I need to go to low first. Yeah, so it's kind of the a little pole, pole position. position. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these games, you know, especially during that era, kind of took whatever someone else was doing oh, yeah. and just add another little thing to it, you know. Um, now, yeah, I, maybe it was because I hit the side of the log that I uh, didn't jump it. Because those were logs, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I need that yellow flag. Okay. There you go. Now you just need the uh, purple one. Oh man, <laughs> I, I was trying to go go around the outside. Come on, time. Well, that didn't give me any more time. There you go. Now you want to get as many flags as you can while they're flashing. Okay. All right. So you got two flags. So, I actually completed that round, right? Uh, well, sort of. You got the flags, oh. but you didn't make it to the checkpoint. Oh. Right. So okay. that's a buggy. Why don't you give North track? That's a buggy bust. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've got a... There's a lot of objectives to accomplish here. Yeah. It's it's the flags, and then, uh, you know, like you said, getting to the, the checkpoint. And I think, on, you know, on some checkpoints are further <laughs> yeah. apart than yeah. other ones. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even close. So light blue, purple, yellow. Light blue. Oh, let me, you know, it, it's always like the one, uh, like it'll plant it like right behind something. The one you need is always, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah, see if I'd have been going a little it's, faster, it'll it'll do things like you can put the log. Uh, oh. See, it suckered me. <laughs> <laughs> zigged when I should have zagged. And then I was just looking up at the flags. <laughs> you know, the, the, the road is so narrow in this game. Mm-hmm. And there, there's, no, uh, there's no other buggies on the road, right? No, yeah. Oh, 
I found low gear. I thought I got that purple one. So here's a, a rock that would put you up like uh, mm, That's neat. Is there any strategic advantage to doing that? I don't think so. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Now on the, uh, the Amiga version and the arcade version, everything is much larger. Mm. Uh, so that's probably just a... Uh, limitation of the sprites right you know, on the 64 i want to see the, the rest of these courses because sure. they okay i like that there's a lot of variety mm -hmm. and uh of course like a lot of racing games the more you play it the more you learn the the layout you know mm -hmm. and um, the obstacles and stuff it, it's it's set up the same so uh now you can go on that there you go. Yeah, it's like a little ramp kind of thing on oh. the side to the left there, like a slope. I see. Yellow. All right, yep, you need yellow. Oh. Yeah, see? It's a yeah. tricky. Yellow, purple, and red. Or I guess that's dark blue. Come on, you need dark blue and then red. Nope, I knew that was a mistake. <laughs> you can't thread the needle like that. <laughs> Well, we've talked about that, you know, um, uh, over time, you, you, know, can, every you game, probably can, yeah. well, but, but every game had its own controller or its own joystick. And now with modern, you know, with emulation and things like that, we, we, um, try to retrofit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, what was your controller of choice on the C64? Um, well, there were two, uh, one was the craft, mm -hmm. uh, joystick, which is, um, there's two different models of it. There's a one that's the same color as the 64, mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a black one with a red button uh, that's the color match for the Atari 2600. Was the uh, the button on the top of the stick? No, no. Okay. It, it's a um, small little square uh, controller, and uh, just with a, a button in a normal place, you know, like a like a CX40. And um, the difference between those two. Is, oh, now here we go. Now we're getting other buggies. Mm -hmm. but they'll drive into the water there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not too bright. Nah. Um, yeah, this is pre-advanced uh, AI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, the, the difference between those two was um, the one on the Commodore had a four-way, eight-way selector switch on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Atari 2600 one was just four-way. Now I've got uh, a little bit later. Well, uh, when we're doing the the video show, I've got a box full of some Commodore stuff that I want to show you. Oh, and uh, you can tell me what I've got. Uh, Aaron dropped it off the other day, but there were a lot of things that that we didn't know what we had. Sounds like a doctor visit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a good kind of we didn't know what we had. <laughs> Good right. job. You made it the okay. second checkpoint. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, I mean, ultimately the goal is to make it. To finish know, the race. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, but it's, it's little victories. Right. And, and the, um, without getting, you know, the flags and the time bonuses and stuff, eventually you won't be able to make it. Mm -hmm. you know? it you, it's kind of like pole position. You, there's diminishing returns. Right. Oh, my gosh. Those are light poles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I show you. I show you each uh, feature by crashing into it. So you've got all the flags now. So for the rest of the race, you don't have to collect them? Or no, does it, no. For about five seconds. Okay. Uh, it <laughs> randomizes them. And then you start all over. Right. It is an interesting concept. There's not really another racing game like this. Yeah, so it, it's um, it combines those two things. I mean, you have the, the racing part, you know, where mm -hmm. you're obviously, uh, you know, uh, passing things. And, right, and, and it's got the slalom element where you're going under the gates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of that little combination. Oh, there's, there's a soccer, soccer ball. <laughs> Football for our... Uh, European yeah. listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, man. I was going to go in the dream. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Uh, you're, in the, you're in the top position. I... Well, let's see. We're not going to put the name that was on. No, we, we don't. We don't want here. that. That's a... <laughs> there we go. I was going to put. Uh, it's not long enough for amigos, right? Or Sprite Castle. <laughs> this is back. This is arcade uh, authentic here. 
<laughs> it go. is handy to have a first name that can fit in the initial space. I, I was, you know, in um, uh, arcades growing up, I would either put Rob or my initials are RPO, mm -hmm. so I would put Pro. Oh, you know? yeah. But, but that, that seemed a little pretentious. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, there's all these, uh, I mean, I've been to, I've got a lot of these classic arcades you know, um, uh, the Arcadia one mm -hmm. and, and all these places around the country. So if I do that, I just put 405. <laughs> so they're <laughs> like, oh, awesome. it's out of state, guy. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next right. time. Adios.